If you're new to my channel, I've done help videos for all nine of the humiliation challenges, which when completed, unlock the Joker helmet. Even with these videos, two of the challenges give people quite a bit of trouble still. And both of these involve the spike drone. Those challenges, of course, are the boomerang and the Hail Mary. Now I gave extensive strategies and tips for the boomerang medal, so I do encourage you to go watch that video if you haven't done so already. However, for the Hail Mary challenge, it's more about luck than skill. I did fail to mention one specific strategy in my original video that actually makes it pretty easy. So with that said, and due to the increasing amount of messages I get from people who are still struggling with these challenges, I'm going to cover this new strategy briefly. First of all, before I show the strategy, I have to give a public service announcement. In most of my other Joker helmet help videos, I reminded myself to mention this, but I think I forgot in a few others. You must complete all nine humiliation challenges in a single prestige. If you prestige, they all reset and you have to do them all over again. I can't even begin to tell you how many comments I've got from people who got the Hail Mary challenge done and then prestiged, which reset everything. Do note that if you're going for the Master Prestige, which is 15 and above, challenges do not reset. So once again, if you're under Prestige 15, you have to do all 9 challenges in one Prestige. If you're Prestige 15 or over, you can Prestige and they won't reset. Alright, back to the challenges. So to rehash the challenge requirements, the Return of the Spike Drone challenge requires you to get 3 Boomerang Medals. The Hail Mary challenge requires you to get 1 Long Distance Kill with the Spike Drone. Before I talk the new Hail Mary strategy, I just wanted to mention a good spot for the boomerang medals. On the heavily voted map Biolab, there's a hallway between the center room and the A flag. If you lay down on either side of this hallway with two spike drones planted at the opposite end, you're bound to get at least one boomerang medal per match. And now, the Hail Mary strategy. At some point during a public match, you're bound to find someone who isn't actively playing. This could be due to several reasons. They could have lagged out and are ghosting, their phone could have rang, they could have stepped away to avoid sharding themselves, who knows. But what this does is leave their body standing motionless. The strategy is to simply plant a spike drone behind them, retreat as fast as you can a good distance away, and then return the spike drone. To return a drone, by the way, simply push the same button you pressed to fire it in the first place. So with this technique, you'll get a boomerang medal and, if you're far enough away, the Hail Mary challenge. It's as simple as that. You can also exploit this strategy in a boosting type method, which of course I don't condone, but it is possible. You'd be surprised at how far away you have to be to get a long shot with the spike drones. It seems to vary on each map, so I can't give you precise numbers. But I'm going to provide a few clips of some long shots that I've got with the spike drone at the end of this video. And again, you only need one to complete the Hail Mary challenge. My advice if you're still struggling is to just use it like you would a throwing knife. Don't worry about trying to bomb it halfway across the map. Again, you'll be surprised at some of the distances that count as long shots. They don't seem very long at all. Don't forget to watch my two original videos on these challenges as I go much, much more in depth on those. Good luck on earning these two challenges.